We're putting you on alert tonight at 5. North Carolina now ranks 10th in the country for sex trafficking. Today in Salisbury, two Republican congressmen called together police and local organizations to discuss ways of identifying sex trafficking and figure out a way to shut it down. NBC Charlotte's Rad Berkey live for us tonight on I-85. So Rad, what's the significance of where you are right now? Well, you know, we are on Highway 85, and it's because of 85 and 77 that sex traffickers are easily able to try to bring their young victims in and out of the cities around here from Gastonia to Charlotte to Salisbury. North Carolina is one of the top 10 states in human trafficking. Republican Congress members Richard Hudson and Ted Budd brought police and local aid organizations together to try to stem sex trafficking. Hudson said Fayetteville, located in his district, is now the number one spot in the state for the crime. Dealing with the problems that victims of sex trafficking have, helping them get back into society is a lot harder than, than dealing with other folks who may be having problems, whether it's drug abuse or other issues. To try to house human trafficking survivors Carla, who uses only her first name for her own protection, founded Lily Pad Haven to help provide shelter for victims of sex trafficking and help them fit back into a normal life. She says Charlotte's extensive highway system, the airport, and the many sporting events held here make the city a target of opportunity for traffickers. It's happening in our own backyards, and there's no location that is immune from it. So I think we have to keep that in mind, and we have to watch for those things that are going to be identifiers for us that it's going on right here. That could include watching for teens not dressed properly for the season, indicating they've been moved around a lot, or groups of teens or young women who appear to be under someone's control. North Carolina is a growing, booming state. Unfortunately, there's a, there's a dark un underbelly that we're addressing today. Now, the two congressmen pointed out that legislation they helped pass that was signed by the president has actually helped reduce online advertising for sex trafficking by some 70 percent. And that, they say, is at least a start. Reporting live along I-85, I'm Rad Berkey, NBC Charlotte. Quite the impact. Thank you, Rad.